Hi, I'm Eric Felton. Welcome to this VOA Music Alley special. We're here in Rappahannock County, Virginia, and this rural farmland may seem an unlikely setting for grand opera, but this is home to the Castleton Festival, founded in 2009 by celebrated conductor Lauren Mazel and his wife, Deet Linda. Maestro Mazel's festival this summer featured classic operas such as Puccini's Madama Butterfly, and Mozart's Don Giovanni. The festival also presented orchestral music. And there were chamber concerts, too. The Castleton Festival also presented opportunities for student singers to perform. Countryside isn't such a strange place for a classical music festival. Ting Ting Wong is a pianist from Hong Kong who specializes in accompanying singers. She says it can be hard to make beautiful music in the bustle of a big city. What I can hear is honking, sirens, and police car, a like police car. And sometimes it's just, it doesn't make sense when we are talking about love, we are talking about passion. And in here, because you, you can see like what we are seeing around here with all the birds singing, you realize that actually everything is music. Even it's just quietness is it's a, it's a kind of music. Lauren Mazel, who died this summer, had a vision for this festival where celebrated artists would come together with promising young musicians to mentor and train them and to perform. You get to take classes with renowned artists. Alba Cancel is an aspiring opera singer, originally from Puerto Rico. Great performers and singers, great teachers. Um, you get that, the feedback of all those people and it's, it's just amazing. The festival is very invested in helping young singers. Tenor Tyler Nelson is one of the singers who's a featured performer here at the Castleton Festival and also one of the main teachers training young musicians. There's sort of an element of, you know, that corrective behavior in school where you're just, you're kind of waiting for the correction to come and you're, you're not really, you're, you're tentative a little bit because you're just waiting for the teacher or the instructor or, you know, whoever else to stop and say, no, this is how we're going to do this here. But it's really nice here because you really do get to explore some of those things and sort of, you know, find your own method and find your own way of, of doing things. Here he is singing Don Ottavio from Mozart's Don Giovanni. <laughs>
sua pace la mia dipende quel che a lei piace vita mi rende Lydia Yankovskaya is a conductor who studied with Lauren Mazel at Castleton. She has high praise for the musicians she's worked with at the festival. They're all world class. They may be young, many of them, but these are all people who are going to reach the highest levels of our profession, I have no doubt. Lauren Mazel said that the Castleton Festival is all about young people making their way in the world of opera and classical music. One of those young musicians is violinist Eric Silberger. He started out in the Castleton Orchestra, but this year he stepped forward as a featured soloist. Castleton, I've never been anywhere else or even heard of a place that covers as much music. You're bombarded with music, and it's really a place where you live music 24 hours a day almost. I mean, I wake up, I'm thinking about music, and at the end of the day, I've, I'm amazed at what I've done. It feels like you've gone through a year in just a week. Here he is performing Mozart's Violin Concerto Number no. 5.
The Castleton Festival got started on a small scale with performances here at this theater, which had originally been a chicken coop. Now this theater is used for recitals and other small performances, such as this duet from Donizetti's Elixir of Love. <laughs>
The Castleton Festival features not only opera and classical music, but also vernacular American music. And what could be more American than a march from John Philip Sousa? Here is Hail to the Spirit of Liberty. Lauren Mazel was so committed to his festival here at Castleton that even as he fell ill this summer, he continued to conduct, to teach, and mentor. He died on the final weekend of performances here, but the shows went on. And the festival goes on as well, with performances in opera, classical music, and even jazz planned for next summer. Thanks so much for joining us for this VOA Music Alley special. I'm Eric Felton.